Hi, my name is McKinley, and in this video, I'm going to tell you my three favorite reads of the week and my favorite cover of the week for the week of Wednesday, October 13th, 2021. But before we do that, I'm going to have some lunch, or maybe it's dinner, I don't know. It was a small week this week, but let me show you the haul. And we're going to start off with an old book, and then I'm going to show you my picks are my haul from the big three, Marvel, DC, and Image. So here is this week's haul, and we're gonna start off with an old book. This is Red Sonia by Mirka Andolfo, number one. This came out last month. I'm barely getting it now, so thanks to my LCS for getting it for me. Now let's move on to the new books for this week. And we got, it's a small stack this week, As you know, we're gonna start off with DC and Marvel and Image, the big three. So, no Marvel books, <laughs> that was easy. Now let's move on to DC. And we're gonna start off with the Joker, number eight. Of course, I always get the punchline cover variant. We also got Future State Gotham, number six. And I bought the Rose Besh cover variant. Thank you to my drunk roommate for chiming in. And of course, I got two copies because I am buying everything Rose Besh. I love her artwork. That was it for the DC. Now let's move on to the image. We got the new issue of Homesick Pilots. And this is the last issue I'll be getting because they insulted Joe Strummer, calling him uh, complacent or ambivalent, something like that. I don't know. It's like some 30-year-olds writing about stuff that they clearly don't know anything about. So if you insult Joe Strummer, that's it. You're dead to me. So F you, Dan Waters. Anyway, let's go back to the image books. Got six sidekicks of Trigger Keaton. That was the big three. Marvel, DC, and Image. No Marvel, a couple on DC, and a couple on Image. Now let's move on to the real indies. I got issue number two of the Vampiverse, and of course I picked up the cosplay cover, because hubba hubba. Also got the new issue of Dead Box. We also picked up the new issue of Witch Blood. And rounding out the haul is... A book called Savior, and this is Savior, the Day the Devil Saved the World. T D T D S T W. It's initials, actually. This was a free book at Atlantis Fantasy World. The artist is a local artist. The artist and writer is a local artist who was just giving them away. And so there was a stack of them at Atlantis. And I was able to get one of these for myself. I also picked up another one and sent it off to a buddy of mine. So that was the haul. Now let's talk about my three favorite reads of the week and my favorite cover of the week. Cover of the week. Without a doubt, you know I'm biased. I love me, my Rose Besh. And this is another great Rose Besh cover. She just had cover of the week about, I think, two weeks ago with the Supergirl cover that was freaking beautiful. And this one is just another notch in her belt. She just continues to keep doing great work. And I'll be honest with you, I see a lot of great covers in her future because I've looked at previews. That was my favorite cover of the week. Tell me what your favorite cover of the week was in the comments below. Coming in at number three, my third favorite read of the week was Future State Gotham number six. I really enjoy this A story. And then the, there's always a B story. Both of the stories are black and white. So I really like that a lot, which means this issue combines great art and a good story. So that is why it comes in at number three for me for my third favorite read of the week. I'm just on board for this all the way. What was my 
second favorite read of the week, without a doubt, Six Sidekicks of Trigger Keaton. If you've watched any of my previous videos in the last four months, you know that I really, really like this title. It has me laughing out loud so many times, I can't even tell you. This is a really funny story. And I have to be honest with you, I'm sorry to Chris Schweitzer, I'm not a fan of the artwork. The artwork has grown on me and I do like it, but it isn't the kind of artwork that makes me go, oh my gosh, dude, you gotta check out the artwork in this comic book. The artwork serves the story. And that's okay because the story is really, really good. So funny. I like this book so much. I can't wait to see this on the big screen because I have a feeling it's gonna be on the big screen at some point in time. What was my favorite read of the week? Well, not to be a snot-nosed punk, because if that is what I am, my favorite read of the week is a book that you probably can't get at your LCS. You probably didn't even see this, because this was given away for free at my LCS. The artist, Chump Magic? Chump Monkey? Oh, golly, I don't even remember what the... Chump Magic. Okay. Did this book called Savior, The Day the Devil Saved the World and left them for free to be given out at Atlantis Fantasy World. So I picked up a copy and I asked the uh, guy working there, I said, can I buy a second copy? Because I'd like to be able to send one to a homeboy of mine. And he said, just take it. They're, they weren't even taking money for these. This is a perfect found book. The artwork is fantastic. The story is fantastic. And this is just a little setup to what is actually going to happen. So this is act one. And it's actually going to be a five part graphic novel. And I think all five parts are going to be consumed or are going to be available in one graphic novel. But for now, this is the little teaser edition and I don't know if you'll be able to get a hard copy of this but he I think he is giving out free copies so I'm going to go ahead and list where it says right here it says a free pdf version of this can be found at the website below or the website I'm going to list right here if you like this teaser then please consider sharing it with your family friends and online communities it would mean the world to me so the address that he lists here is, um, it's going to be on the entire time. I hope you take the PDF version because this was a really good, fun story. I like the artwork a lot and it just knocked my socks off. Even though I didn't pay any money for it, I still would have paid money for it. And it, if I had paid money for it, it would have still been my number one read of the week because it was fantastic. Please. Download the PDF if you can. I haven't been to the website, so I can't verify the if it works or not, but it was it's in the book, and I hope you can read it because I want you to enjoy this as much as I did. Thanks for clicking. I really appreciate it. I know you have so many other boxes to click on, so I appreciate that you clicked on this box right here. Peace, love, bunny, and bear.